Virgo, what's up? This is going to be your All Things Abundance January 2021 and or when this resonates for you. How did you work for one on one reading? Website link below. Leave a comment below if this resonates. Like, share, follow, across all social media platforms. Check out the Patreon. Reduce rates and um, not subscriptions, but reduce prices and, you know, percentages off to, to subscribers. And um, yeah, all that, all that stuff and more. A bunch of goodies on the on the Patreon, running on Tarot across everything. Um, what else? Virgo abundance twenty twenty one. The abundance could be health, wealth, um, social network. You know, whatever it is for you, Virgo. However you define it, define it. It could be career, uh, money, um, finance, business as well. Um, we tend to kind of think of abundance as, you know, having more than we need, uh, but it could be, you know, defined uh, however you deem fit, Virgo. That's the beauty of this, uh, reading. Um, without further ado, let's jump right into it. It's very low level and highest possible messages for Virgo, January 2021. All things abundance. Okay, you got the Emperor in reverse, ironically. Uh, I got the Emperor banner in the background uh, that's you know kind of uprooted not in your power and your strength a little bit of a tyrannical energy this is the emperor gone sideways um when he's not at, at his best he can be somewhat of a tyrant um how do we do away with that uh from his stern uh disposition you know judging by the you know image in the background virgo um he seems like a like a hard ass, but really, truly, the magic, uh, you know, kind of happens inside, right? Uh, it happens uh, with your kind of heart uh, resonance, uh, your 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 uh, your emotion, and uh, you know, your your heart and mind uh, coherence. Um, that that's gonna kind of fuel, um, you know, you tuning into your own abundance, Virgo. Essentially, I've been on a kick lately. Or I'm kind of saying like you know, your your abundance or your health or, or you know whatever. It's a frequency. It's it's a radio station to be turned to, to be tuned into. Excuse me, and uh, you just kind of always gotta you know refer to yourself and see you know what radio station are you tuned into? What what, what song is your heart playing? And is that the one that you want? You know, are you kind of waking up? Uh, you know, resonating at this, you know, vibration of joy and abundance, or are you kind of waking up as like, oh, I'm here again? So, so you have a lot of influence and power as to your outlook and your reality, and that's really where it starts. Um, even if you find yourself going through the emotions and having to do things day to day, um, you know, the practical things in life that we have to do in order to make a living, um, you know, challenge those, Ch challenge that. Um, and, uh, you know, whatever you have to formulate to feel as if you're kind of being, uh, you know, uh, pulled through life uh, as opposed to dragging on through life. You got the, interestingly enough, the Empress card here. So, you know, you might have a divine feminine in your life. And or if you tune in a little bit more to the divine feminine aspect of yourself, uh, the more kind of wavy, watery, emotional, uh, creative aspects of the, you know, the divine feminine brings to the table then that's actually going to help uh, kind of even out your divine masculine. Because although he seems like a hard ass in the, in the banner behind me, the, the emperor is, uh, he's all kind of ooey gooey inside with his, you know, heart chakra and his emotions and his fatherly love and, and, and all that stuff. That, that's the archetype that we're talking about here. Yes, he has to be strong externally, but really, truly, even the emperor has divine feminine energy. Um, you know, he just has it kind of, you know, uh, on like an operational level of, of uh, you know, what's available to him, but, but, or not what's available to him, but what um, is acceptable to him. But again, I, I, I challenge you to, you know, raise your standards of acceptability and to, um, you know, raise your standards of what it is that you're settling for and with um, as you, as you live out your days, Virgo, essentially. Um, there's no other way to put it. Um, you know, we, we tend to think that, well, how do we keep this up? How do we keep up this enthusiasm? How do we, and it's really truly, you know, yours for the taking in the sense of it, it's yours to, uh, to kind of, um, tend to 
and um, and uh, and formulate. Um, if you're if you're tired, you know, uh, what's the equal and opposite kind of direct energy to that? Uh, you know, feeling uh, you know aware, awake, and and filled with energy. Um, how do I how do I get there? You know, if you have to meditate for five minutes, something as simple as that. So so it's our practical steps so as to condition ourselves to be at the state of, of uh, you know functionality and operating that, that is going to allow us to pursue our um, or at least channel or continue to channel into our uh, our kind of highest joys and abundance uh, frequ frequencies inside inside. Um, what else can I say to this Virgo? You got the Page of Cups. This is again more universal intuitive energy. Um, tuning into the other side behind the veil. Um, a lot of that is, is uh, conscientiousness and awareness. Um, I've been preaching to everybody to look up uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza, and he talks a lot about like scientific forefront, you know, philosophical, emotional, um, almost psychiatric um, or psychological, I should say, uh, kind of research and, and science that, that points to heart resonance and, and having a grateful heart and resonating that joy and abundance and gratitude and all that stuff. And that tends to kind of depict our, our reality of Virgo. So if you're, if you're curious and interested as to you know what abundance is, it's really truly just a feeling that you got to really feel in your heart. And, and the only thing that's keeping you from that are whatever obstacles and barriers that life has told you that you're not enough to, to, to feel this or you're not worthy to feel this feeling, whatever it is you know that you're trying to feel, this whole heart, this gratitude, this joy, this bliss. And from then is when you start kind of magnetizing real abundance, right? Because you could be in a castle filled with gold, but you could be kind of piss poor morally versus you could just be in a quaint, content household and feel like the richest man alive, you know? So uh, it depends on, uh, you know, um, what's going on in the inside, essentially. But that's what I'm trying to say. A lot of confusion. Uh, try to tune into a singular focal point. Uh, as opposed to the chaos and the, and the confusion, Virgo is what I'm getting. Okay, it could have been a recent breakup or falling out with a, with a, an occupation, a company. Okay, putting the pieces away after the game. Okay, but there's going to be a rebirth, so it could be a rebirth and again, a career and or um, relationship. <clears throat> Spirit of love and the highest possible messages for Virgo. Yeah, inner knowing. You already know what you got to do, Virgo. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of soulmate energy. Um, getting to the truth of matters and a lot of the times the, the real truth is just that heart resonance you know and, uh, any obstacles that may or may that might or may keep you from, from optimally you and your partner resonating um, with each other so whatever the heart work is that you got to figure out between each other it's very uh, you know capable of being done uh, you are very capable of uh, doing it and it's very possible to be done and uh, this is going to bring new horizons new frontiers new opportunities and um, build there first and foremost but what I'm getting is uh, you know having a heart to heart with someone um, so that you can move forward accordingly uh, in whatever it is or how whatever it is you define abundance for yourself or go yeah coming out of petty conflict okay i think i'm gonna leave it there yeah right now because right now you're at this kind of dissonance this discourse you got to figure out what what harmony and bliss is for the both of you and have that heart to heart resonance okay so uh this is what i got for you i'm gonna leave it there virgo if this resonated leave a comment below i'll let you more from one on reading would love to help you on your spiritual path and journey peace